Hey guys, welcome back. Today is another edition of Top 10 Tuesday. Uh, and today's Top 10 is going to be the Top 10 Most Valuable Pops in my collection. Now this is the second time I've done this video. I did one right about the time that I started filming, which was around about six months ago. Uh, you can actually find a link to the, that video right here in the cards. Um, so I was putting this together and I noticed that I only have maybe one or two pops that are on the first list that are going to be in this list. So I've definitely expanded my collection a good bit between then and now, even though it's only been six months, uh, which is really cool to see. Uh, so I'm just going to dive on in and, and uh, we're going to go from what would be like, obviously the most valuable one's going to be at the end, so we're going to go bottom to top. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is actually this one right here. Um, this one is Flocked Joffrey. Uh, this is one of the ad icons, and this is a Toys R Us exclusive. Now, they made two versions of Joffrey. They made the uh, the regular one, which was the gold ticket version, and then they made the flocked one. Uh, this guy right here is coming in at $50. Now, the next pop is also coming in at $50, so I guess he's tied for ninth slash 10th place. And that would be Boba Fett and his Slave One ship. Now, I actually just recently picked this one up, so he's definitely a new addition to the collection. Um, this one is from the 2017 New York Comic Con, and it's part of the Star Wars 40th anniversary. And like I said, this one also is coming in at $50. In eighth place, we have this 6-inch Drogon, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, and so this one is different than the regular Drogon and that his eyes are red. Uh, which makes this one a little different and this one is coming in at how much Rebecca? $60. At $60. Oh, yeah, by the way guys Rebecca's over here helping me out by looking at my stash account so I can you know talk to you guys about the value. Um, so that would be number eight. Now in seventh place we have a pop that I actually picked up from my good friend Marky uh, which you guys have seen before and this one is the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, this one's a Hot Topic exclusive, and this one is actually the metallic version of Vegeta. This one is valued at... 64 At $64. So this one's pretty cool. I also just recently picked up a few more of the um, Dragon Ball Super Pops. Or, well, I picked up Shenron, and I picked up uh, Super Saiyan Rose, which is Goku Black's version. So those, that's pretty cool. Um, I think there's an apostrophe above this, Rose. <laughs> I could be wrong. Who cares? Um... Anyway, guys, there's that one. Coming in at in sixth place, we have something that I also recently picked up, and that would be the Stone Keeper from uh, Inven Avengers Infinity War. Uh, this was a, uh, a Funko Shop exclusive. They threw it up on a Wednesday morning for their pop-up shop, and so I picked this guy up. Um, like I mentioned in another video, this is probably the only red skull that I'm ever able to get. Um, and I'm actually thinking about trading it, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, this one is valued at $66? $66. So there's that one. It's pretty cool, I think. Alright guys, so we are now moving into the top five. Um, and there's actually a good little jump between the last one and this one. And this would be Mr. Bruce Lee. Now, I also got this one from Marky, and Marky gave me uh, both of the Bruce Lees. He gave me the Enter the Dragon version, and I'm not 100% sure actually what the yellow jumpsuit one is from. Um, I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing, but I ended up keeping this one, and I traded the yellow jumpsuit for something else. Um, so this guy right here is pretty cool, and he is valued at? 70 70 So there's a little $4 there. Um, but this one's still really cool. I'm definitely feeling like I'm going to end up keeping this guy. Um, I always used to watch the Bruce Lee films with my dad when I was younger, and uh, Enter the Dragon was one of the ones that we watched all the time. So yeah, there's Bruce Lee, and like I said, he's valued at seven. Seven. Seventy. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> um, coming in at our number fourth spot is one from the 2017 Summer uh, Convention, and this is from Harry Potter, and this is the Luna Love Good Pop, um, and this is the one where she's wearing her spectacles. So she's different than the other one. The other one, she's wearing the um, the lion headdress, which I actually have like right there on the shelf. You guys can see it. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the glam shot. And Rebecca, how much is this one worth? Seventy. This one is also worth seventy. Really? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, she dropped. She was worth a, um, about 85 a couple weeks ago. Anyway, still not disappointed. This is one that I want for my collection regardless. But so there is Luna. Oh, almost dropped her here. All right. So in third place, we have a Disney pop. Um, this one, I believe, was on my last list. Um, and this one is a Chase figure exclusive to Hot Topic from the Hercules line. Um, and this would be Hades. And so this Hades, um, like I said, is the Chase. So he is red instead of blue, and he glows in the dark. Uh, and he is from Hot Topic. So that's what he would look like normally. And that is the Chase version. And he is worth 80... 92. 92. Wow. So this guy has actually jumped up a little bit. Um, he fluctuated when he first came out. He was up at around 120. And then I know he dropped down to like 80. So it's, it's pretty cool that he's come up a little bit too. Um, but yeah, guys. So that would be Hades. And our second place spot is something that I actually picked up just last night um, at a pop swap that I went to. Um, and so this is one from Emerald City Comic Con. I purchased this when it first came out, and then they canceled my order. Uh, this one was shared with the Funko Shop, uh, and so I was really disappointed. And I've been searching for this, and everyone is asking, you know, like pop price guide price for it, which is okay. That's understandable. Uh, but I traded for this last night, and this guy right here is the flocked Bigfoot, uh, specifically the flocked teal and green Bigfoot, which is limited to 2,500 pieces, uh, which I think is really cool. Uh, Rebecca, how much is he worth? $93. Now this one is worth $93. I know that the, the brown Bigfoot is worth about $125, if I'm not mistaken, even though there's there's more of them out there. Um, this was the one that I wanted more anyway, uh, so I'm really happy that I was able to pick him up. And then last but not least is something that I actually traded uh, something for about a week or so ago from my friend Danny. Uh, this one is also from the 2017 Summer Convention, and this would be Steve. From Stranger Things. Now this Steve is the one where he's holding the bat. Um, and he looks a little bit beat up. But this one's still really cool. Um, so I'll show you the side glam. And Rebecca will tell us that this one is worth 96? 95. 95. I was close. Uh, so this one is worth 95. I'll show you that one. Now that rounds out my top five. Um, Stash also tells me that the Praetorian Guard 2-pack is still worth over $100. Um, but I didn't want to include this one in the video because I kind of also like cross-checked with Pop Price Guide. And while all of these were definitely in my top 10 for Pop Price Guide, uh, the Praetorian Guard was not. It said it's only valued at about 45 So I decided to leave it out. But I do have one more that I want to show you. And this one is definitely the most valuable one to me in my collection. Um, this one is actually a signed Pop. Uh, and this is the signed Neville Longbottom. Uh, a friend of mine, or actually one of my coworkers, um, had this signed for me at Emerald City Comic Con this year. Uh, and so this one is like personally addressed to me, which I think is really cool. So this one is definitely the most valuable one in my collection, though Stash and Pop Brass Kai don't price the ones that are signed. They just give them at the common. Um, and if I was going at common value, this guy's only worth five bucks. So he would actually be in my bottom ten. But, yeah. So it's pretty cool, I think. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Top 10 Tuesday. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I have an account set up specifically for this page. Uh, you can find a link down in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching.